Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central introductory course. So this is our last lecture of module 5 and also of this course where we will see one of the key important function of Dynamics 365 Business Central that is navigate function. In previous lecture we have seen how you can enter and edit information in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So let us now understand in this lecture how to utilize the key function called navigate in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So this function will show you the number of entries that has been created as a result of your posting process. So let me now navigate to the posted sales invoice. So in order to utilize navigate function, open the posted sales invoice and click on action. And here you can see navigate function. So if you click the navigate function, then it will show you all the records that has been created during the process of creating this posted sales invoice record so now you can see you can see there are 13 general ledger entries has been created and you can navigate to those 13 records by clicking this number you can also see there are three tax entries that has been created as a result of creating this posted sales invoice record so you can navigate to those three records by clicking here and similarly you can see all the different records that has been created during this posting of this posted sales invoice this comes very handy when you want to track the different entries that has been created and what was the impact of that posting after it has been created so this is very useful when you want to track the history and the records that has been created as a part of this posting so on that note i will finish this lecture so that brings the end of this module and this course as well so now you have all the required information for you to start working in dynamics 365 business central so as promised in our fourth lecture of module one that i'm going to give you the bonus tip of how you can integrate your dynamics 365 business central with your outlook because you are not going to have that integration in place the moment you subscribe a Dynamics 365 Business Central instance that I am going to show you in the next video. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.